We're talking about glasses, not these, these. Hi, Dave. Hi, how are you? I'm great. Can you tell me why the different shapes and glasses for pouring beer are important, or drinking beer, I should say? Um, you know, it, it's it's mostly important because there's many different styles of beer okay. um, out there, and, and you always want to try to drink the beer as the brewer intended. So uh, with that in mind, you know, different styles of beer will try to highlight certain things. Um, like a Pilsner glass, you want to highlight the effervescence. Since you highlight the clarity, you highlight the color, um, you highlight, you know, the, the beautiful white uh, foamy head. What type of glass is this? Uh, that would be a wheat glass. So uh, once again, um, you really want to highlight the color. Um, and especially with wheat, uh, wheat has certain proteins that create a rich, foamy, dense head. And so um, whenever you have a wheat glass, you really want to highlight that thick, rich head. These remind me more of wine glasses. Why are these for beer? There's a there's a lot of similarities with with wine and beer. Um, when you have a stemmed glass like that, you know you don't want to warm up the beer, so you're using the stem, so you're not you're not having your hand warm up the glass. Okay. Um, don't touch the glass. Touch the stem. <laughs> And you know, and this is what we call a tulip glass. A uh, tulip oh. glass is going to be for uh, farmhouse saisons, where you really want to condense those volatiles once again to get the aroma. But then it kind of flares out at the end, as you can see, for head retention. Aroma is important in all of these glasses. You've mentioned that, but what's different about all of these? There's just so many nuances that the okay. brewer that the brewer wants uh, have happen. You know, like with the snifter. You know, you can you know this one you can warm it up with your hand because uh, usually like a, a fuller, higher alcohol beer, your hand now warms up. Now we're talking. Up. Yeah, now we're talking. yeah. Then those those big beers they they consolidate those aromatics in the um, the head of the glass there. Whenever you warm up the beer, the, more aromatics come out. People quite a bit they want a frosted glass or they want it you know the, the colder the better and I think there's a there's a misconception with that. Um, whenever you have beer that's really really cold you really don't get a lot of interaction with uh, aroma and flavor. A lot of beer gets served at 38 degrees that's you know optimum. Some IPAs get served at 45. Some barley wines and big stouts get served at 55. Okay so the temperature matters. Does size matter? <laughs> well, it depends on what we're talking about. Um, we're but talking yes. about beer. What are you talking <laughs> about, Dave? Um, so beer, disgusting. of course. Beer, of course. So right. when it comes to um, like the snifter, you know, we talked about a high alcohol beer being in that okay. one. So this is going to be uh, a shorter a pour, smaller glass. a smaller glass. Absolutely, you don't want to serve, you know, 16 ounces of you know 14% alcohol beer. You'd have uh, in one sitting. In one sitting. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right. When you think of a pilsner, you think of low in alcohol. You think of sessionable, uh, sessionable meaning that you can just sit there and put them back and drink a lot of them. Oh, I um, know all about sessions. <laughs> there's a lot. There's a lot of put in a good sesh. It's, it's a good day. So as we've learned today on all things beer, glassware matters. Don't just pour your beer into a Dixie cup. It's not right. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on All Things Beer.